I hate this. Dude, please put this in as a blooper. <laughs> Again, I just hold the camera. Hold your eye is, it, is, it that, is it that shaky? Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Back again in the garage. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We're, we're in the garage with Jordan. Really is it really shaky? When you go like this, what's no. Here, I put you in frame. My frame? <laughs> Does it look like I'm crouching? Money. You look like a f***ing chub. Sick ass golf party. Eh, perfect. She said that. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Thomas with TMWIT. Back again in the home garage. We got Jordan here and we're finally going to be starting to do work again for Mark 6 Golf R. But today we are just preparing for a mod in the next coming video. We're going to be removing the stock spoiler and you're like, Thomas, you literally did a video on a carbon fiber spoiler like last year. Well, didn't like how it fitted. You know, you can see it kind of tore up my wrap. And I want to do something a little bit different. The carbon fiber. It's cool, but it's getting overrated. Yeah, and I wanted I want to do something different. So I have a very special treat coming for you guys. It's gonna be very cool. I don't want to spoil it quite yet. So this is the stock Golf R GTI wing here. You can see it wrapped in peach on the back of the trunk. And it's also got the little third brake light in there. Um, and so today we are going to be removing this or figure out how to remove this. There's no videos on YouTube. So if you're looking to repaint your car or change this piece out, like we're trying to do, because the wing that I got fits to what's underneath here and it won't fit up to this. I'm just gonna help you guys figure out how to remove this. I don't know how to do it either. That is Jordan. So we're just gonna figure it out. So for starters here, we're gonna be using the, the Home Depot special heat gun. And uh, I don't know where we got this, but it's fishing line. Um, from what I've read on the forums, there's a big glob of adhesive right here on this side and the same as the other side, right on this kind of curvature. And then there's gonna be brackets all the way down and we need to remove the third brake light. Um, and then we can kind of just wiggle our way through the adhesive once it's heated up with the heat gun and use the fishing line to take this piece off. It's going to be way easier with two people too. So you can have one person heating. So get a, one doing the yeah, get a buddy that's dumb enough to, to ruin your get car a, get with a you. Jordan. Let, let me specify this. If, if you're not repainting your car or you're not set on, on a, a good wing. wing. Yeah. Don't, don't do, do this it. mod. You're probably going to ruin this piece. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. So just watch these videos. See if it's something you're interested in doing. That's why I want to do this wing because it takes a lot of work. It's a lot different. Nobody's done it before. We'll be the first one in the world with it. You got to think. So me and Thomas know what we're doing. Not at all. No. <laughs> all right. Let's let's get into it. Let's go. All right. Step one of the surgery process here. So there's these little silver tabs that you pull down with the screwdriver right here on both bottom corners. You saw Jordan just dug that screwdriver in the little groove in the center there to remove that third brake light. There you go. Snip, oh, snip, huh? Clear clip right there. Nice. So it looks like there's a tiny little clip on the inside there. Nice. Clips are still in the bottom and they're just on the bottom side there. You can see one right there and one on the corner there. You get my nice little condensated third brake light. We have the clip here. Yeah. We unplug that. And then that's gone. And with, with this wing that I'm doing, you're losing your third brake light. So here's another thing to consider, okay? So now let's uh, start heating it up. Yeah, but there's like this clip here up on the top. They need to push down with a screwdriver to get that out. But now that the third brake light is out of the way, we can start hacking away at our wing. If you're planning on doing the spoiler modification like I'm doing in the next video, you can try to keep this intact as much as possible. This is a $300 OEM part. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to return it back to stock. Uh, nobody's ever done it, so we're, we're gonna be the first one. So if we look like we don't know what we're doing, it's because we don't. So we'll jack the heat up on this. It's gonna melt that wrap too. It's gonna melt that wrap. You'll see we put some tape down, um, especially if you're painted. Um, I can get my car rewrapped if I scratch it or, or burn my wrap. Please be very careful with your paint if you're doing this to your personal car and it is painted and in good condition. Jordan's got the fishing line that I showed in the beginning and he's just working it underneath there. Some heat on there. We're just gonna try to loosen up this adhesive that's under this corner here. 
And there goes the first piece of fishing line. Get the heat down here. Oh. Ooh, shit, that's hot. What is water in that? The water? Yeah, it dripped on me. Oh, there's water in there. Interesting. All right. <laughs> well, shit. Go shot. So, remember when I said I wanted to keep the <laughs> stock wing intact just in case? That helped a lot. Well, you can see what we're, that's what we were, that's what we were working against. And there is a stock golf spoiler under here, good boys. So we're in business, but there goes a $300 OEM. Hold on, there's, there's clips and everything. Let's slow down, let's stop barbarically ripping my car apart. Oh my. Yeah, so this is what we were working at with the, uh, well, this Whoops. is what we were working at with the, uh, the uh, fishing line here, and this is what we were getting caught up on. Heating I mean, you can see, it. look how thick this is. That's just, that's just straight up adhesive right there. Jeez. OEM color. Jeez. Yeah, look at that. Look at that carbon steel gray, boys. <laughs> If you don't want to be like us and ruin your OEM wing. Wait, wait, let's see it. Let's see it. Would you look at that? It's good to new. It's Just wrap right over. Just needs a little bondo and everything. We're good to go. Yeah, so basically what we were doing was heating this section up right here because I I was in contact with a guy from Norway that repainted his Golf R and he said there were just two globs of windshield adhesive windshield adhesive holding the wing in place. So I was very careful not to hit the winch, uh, the, the rear glass here. And there's just this big glob right here. I rushed it and I broke it, you know, but what can you do? So we're gonna keep working at it. But if you wanna be smart and keep your stock wing in place, just you gotta be really careful and heat right here. So right up near the top corner, you see this blob right here? It's right there. That's where we're getting caught with the uh, floss. You can see where we were working on it. Yeah, you can see where we're cutting into it. Um, it needs a lot of heat, a lot of patience. Uh, yeah. So Thomas, are we keeping this on with the new one? No, we gotta get that off somehow. Let's let's do what we just did to the other side and, um, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll let you guys know how it goes. In progress, um, I got the other side without breaking it. I mean, obviously I'm not really carrying it at this point. Keep it coming off intact, but we pulled the wing from the other side. And now we're just gonna make sure that the wires in the center here are okay. It looks like there's the rear wiper kind of sprayer thing, which I don't have anymore anyways. And for all you complaining in the comment section, like I know you were going to be, Thomas, you don't have a third brake light anymore. I'm mounting one down on the diffuser, a third F1 brake light, so don't worry. Uh, we're just gonna get these unclipped and pull off the now ruined wing, sadly. Boom! I think about doing And that is the stock Golf R GTI wing removed. You can do it in one piece. You look, I do I did it over here. We we honed in the heat right there. You can see where we just melted in the wrap. It's just right on that corner. Um, and then we just lifted it up with a screwdriver. So you can keep it in one piece. Um, obviously, if if you guys <laughs> want to buy this, this OEM part, perfect condition. So now we just need to figure out how to get this kind of scaffolding or bracketing off. Yeah, that's how you remove the uh, stock wing off of the Golf R GTI. Ah. Rest in peace. Okay. It's okay, I got the weight. <laughs> what? <laughs> bruh. <laughs> yeah, it's a gun ray flat from the focus community, bruh. Yeah. Feel like this. Alright, we're gonna figure out how to get this bracketing off. 
Oh wait. No. Oh my goodness. Professional assistant here is uh, we're working at the clips, trying to get this piece removed here. This is like the scaffolding underneath the stock wing. Uh, so we'll work at getting this removed. Make sure you remove these. Get these out of your way. Um, looks like we got the uh, stock little wing piece under here. Let's keep working on it. All right, guys, we got the stock wing here all removed. You saw that, all the bracketing and everything. This piece over here. Um, and for now, I just tucked up the reverse light up in there and put some masking tape over it and then masked over where we sanded down the adhesive. Um, again, if you spend more time in your car, you can probably remove the adhesive without having to sand your car down but I'm probably just gonna primer it and it's gonna get covered up by the new wing anyways. Um, but yeah, the, the next, it should be the next video, we're putting on the new wing, just need to get the mounting hardware. Um, and uh, I think I'll get it wrapped to match or we might do that later. Um, but the next video should be getting the new wing on, which is, oh my gosh guys, it looks so sick. I've already already tested it up here. I just, I know I'm snaking you guys. I wanna, you know, just gonna make you guys wait a little bit. Wanna be ready to drop that video. I had to do it in two separate vids because that the next vid is just gonna be going in depth on, on mounting it, you know, and going through all that. So yeah, but was it too difficult? I rushed the job. I didn't, you know, I broke the wing. So I mean, if you care about the piece, I would spend a little bit more time on it if you care about keeping it, especially if you're repainting the car take your time and take care of the stock piece because you're gonna need to put it back on. Um, but if you're just doing this, uh, if you're following this from my next video and just doing a wing like I'm doing, then you'll be all set to go from here. So, so we got the wing that's getting mounted in the next video. Um, we have new tires on the way. We're rebuilding one of my wheels because the lip is bent, so that's coming very soon. We have tons of new stuff. I don't wanna give away all my all the stuff coming for you guys, but we got tons more mods. We got a show April 3rd. Um, so as of filming this video, 20, 25 days left until that show. So just show prep, getting it all ready to go. Um, I got some performance modifications finally coming for you guys. Um, I'm slow and steady when it comes to that stuff. I just want this, everything on this car done right um, and exactly how I want it. Cause this isn't a car I'm planning on selling. So, I mean, I don't like to rush through the mods and just you know, get to the end goal, the cheapest and easiest way possible. I want to think out every mod and get it exactly how I want to. So if you are planning on selling your car, I would really think about doing this mod because this is, you're ripping off the stock spoiler that's over there sitting on the floor now in shambles. It's, it's pretty difficult to get it off. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like down below, comment any questions you have about removing the wing. I'm so excited for the new wing, guys. It's gonna be so sick. So keep your eyes peeled for that video. Turn on your notification bell so you know exactly when it's gonna drop and I'll show you how to put this insane new wing if you do have a Mark 6 Golf R or Mark 6 GTI that requires you to remove the OEM spoiler. Nobody has this mod, guys. Nobody's done this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, you're still here, huh? Little treat for the people that watch all the way to the end. I love you guys. Peace.